Yeah, thank you for joining me today. Today I am going to share with you. Hello, Angelique. Hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, cool. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank and you for having me. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, today I will share with everyone like three news as we used to be. Uh, the first one, oh, okay, so there's another person join. Oh, oh, so I have to do this. Microphone speaker, speaker. Hello. Um, speaker. Hello. 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 Good morning. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So today I will share three news as usual. And uh, hello, Stephanie. Do you want to uh, raise your hand so I can? Uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Hey, how can I move you to stage? Mm. Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, today I will share with you three news as usual. The first one is on theverge.com. Um, the title is called the 499 HTC Vive Flow is VR for people who don't like VR. So if you have computer in front of you, you can you know, um, open your browser and take a look uh, of today's uh, news. And this news is very interesting because I've been seeing this new HTC Vive Flow, this headset. This headset looks much, much more fancier than, you know, um, I would say the HTC Vive or, you know, Oculus or, you know, some other headset, <clears throat> but it does has its own limit. Uh, so let's take a deep look at this new headset. So the first one is that this new, new headset is $499. Yeah, so compare with, you see like HTC Vive, even like, you know, like HTC Vive is around 700, a thousand, right? So yeah, so this is much, probably much cheaper than it's more high end headset, but it does much expensive, like twice as expensive as Oculus Quest. And besides, uh, this is similar to, I would say like Oculus Go. Before I would say back in 2000, um, like 17, 18, I bought uh, Oculus Go. That one was you got a controller, right? And you can all you, you you can only view like 360 view, but it's hard to get any interactivity. So it's pretty much a 360 display, right? It's a display, and then um, you can use a super small controller, which yeah, it's. It feels like compared with the Oculus Quest, that is the baby version. Yeah, so all you need to do is to look around 360 video or picture and that's it. Yeah, so that's kind of Oculus Go, uh, what I remember. And I kind of uh, sold it on eBay once I feel like uh, it's lacking of functionality. So uh, today when I see the H HTC Vive flow, it's a little similar to that, but it seems like they have a better, you know, like, but the, the, the specs is still similar to Quest. Yeah, so if you want to see the field of view, the HTC uh, Vive Flow is 100 degree field of view and 75 uh, HZ uh, refreshing rate. And uh, yeah, but this specs is similar to Quest, even a little bit, uh, lower than um, than Quest, so yeah, and much more expensive because Quest is only two hundred ninety nine. And besides, um, this this one, I would say it's for you know it, it, it's much lighter. It's kind of like a, um, I would say half lighter as Quest two because Quest two is five hundred grams uh, the, the 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 weight uh, versus the 
the HTC new headset flow, it only weights 189 grams. So uh, this is more lightweight and it looks much more fancier, right? You can pretty much, you know, and the interesting things is that if you see this web page, they only have women, you know, wearing that this, uh, you know, has uh, this headset. And it looks stylish, right? Woman wearing this uh, HTC uh, Vive Flow, this headset to do yoga, right? To kind of like having, you know, like the meeting report, uh, pretty much this sync to your Android phone. And they are not supporting to iOS phone. So uh, for iOS user, it might not be convenient. And according to the report, it says that in the future, they are not going to support iOS phone. They only focusing on uh, Android phone. So using by using Android phone, you can, you know, do more like, you know, similar to controller stuff, right? So pretty much using uh, controller and then they, uh, you, you have to, uh, you know, charge this headset. Uh, the headset itself has a little battery, probably lasts for four minutes. So you have to, you know, sync to a battery pack, which is not really convenient. You see, like uh, when I use Quest, I can charge it, right? And probably it lasts probably at least one hour, probably one, one and a half or around two. I think that's kind of like the time that I have to charge but versus HTC Vive Flow. You see the, the system itself only have four minutes um, battery support and you have to you know, uh, charge it, which means that you have plug in to a battery pack in order for the system to run. So um, according to this report said that HTC um, Flow, Vive Flow only focus um, you know, like meditation or, you know, more stationary, just viewing the 360 videos and, uh, uh, you know, just feel peaceful or, you know, like some, some stuff that has less interactive, right? And it, since it's stationary, stationary means that you just sit or stand and there's, you cannot walk around unlike, you know, the uh, room scale. Room scale, you can walk around and the headset will keep tracking your position. So this one pretty much is a viewer, right? It's a 360 viewer, uh, which uh, you can see the, the 360 videos uh, pretty much using the uh, phone or, you know, other, you know, like your Android phone to kind of point it out next slide or next videos. So yeah, so this is the new HTC Vive Flow targeting um, people who don't like VR and probably don't like game. It's definitely not targeting um, gamers. So it's more like just, it, it looks really beautiful, really stylish. So probably for people who just want a peace of mind or changing the environment very subtly. Yeah, and I would say the, you know, mm, as for me, I like, more more specs. I like more interactive. So this is probably for people who you know who who, who did yoga, right? And then they want to listen to the music, you know, just like very calm and just one. Like I would say the function is pretty limited. Okay, so anyone has any thoughts for for this news? Like for uh, four hundred ninety nine HTC Five Flow, like. Do you have any thoughts for this news? Feel free to unmute yourself and share your thoughts. I, I'm just looking at it right now and it looks really cool. I like how they made it look like sunglasses. Yeah, right. Yeah, cool, cool. And <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so um, I, I don't know. Have you ever tried any VR or headset or anything before? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, have you? 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Stephanie, do you want to? Oh, share? yeah, no, I was, I agree with An Angelique. Hmm. Um, I, they do look like sunglasses, and it's pretty cool because it looks like you can just flip them on and off, and they kind, they do look stylish. They look like those oversized sunglasses that people like to wear that are quite fashionable. So um, I think this is really neat to see because. Um, I mentioned earlier right now they're targeting more women um focusing on just like yoga and whatnot but just thinking about the possibilities for people who um just even like older people who have difficulty manipulating their hands um, in terms of coordination or strength this could be really um useful um uh, yeah just kind of thinking about what applications you could have for that target audience as well um just that it's like it just seems more accessible for people to be able to like manage and manipulate um so i'm kind of excited to see how this will continue to um develop and transform in terms of like it's just like its look and its style and functional function functional ability yeah <laughs> Cool. Thank you for your feedback. And uh, yeah, so I would say that this is definitely uh, really nice, right? And compared with, you know, all the gimmicky, like a super bulky, uh, big headset, this is, I would say this is definitely targeted on women who doesn't like, you know, like some bulky stuff in front of your face. It's every time when I wear, you know, the, the headset, I will get um, a lot of wrinkles or you know like a lot of I, I would say a lot of big press on my cheeks and then it will end up to be swelling or you know dry and it takes time like a few hours for this all like heavy press on my face to 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 get off so yeah so I would say that this is definitely much lighter right and if someone who only just want to view 360 videos or not really interested in you know heavy gaming because gaming you know each action you need to sync very well and you know the spec needs to be really really high in order for people to get some real interactions inside the headset so the headset needs to you know right now we are trying to you know kind of like i i would say the industry is trying to uh, reduce the size of headset but once you reduce it it means that the function will kind of being reduced unless it's kind of like trying so hard to compress all the function inside the little chips. But it also means that if you can make it small, make it so good, then it means that the price probably will go up. So yeah, so there's a sweet spot to meet, you know, size, function, specs, everything. So I think this is a sweet spot that is kind of like create its own new, um, I would say create its new uh, categories of VR compared with, you know, like, um, yeah, it's, I, I feel like they are not really trying to um, um, do a lot of efforts for, for the specs, but instead they are doing a lot of stuff that um, that is more focusing on the lifestyle, right? So people who want to just view 360 videos, people who just want to, you know, um, um, enjoy the immersive experience without too many uh, um, violence or like interactive. Like I, I would say like I saw one of the company, they are partner such as Mir Mirrored VR. This company uh, is good for the seniors, right? Seniors, they don't really need like a, yeah, exciting video games, but they do really need something that can calm their soul, right? Can make them feel comfortable, can kind of let them enjoy the scene of the world. So I think this one is definitely perfect for people who just want to enjoy 360 videos or, you know, just want to, you know, uh, be peaceful, not really rely on a lot of interactive to make, keep them exciting. So, yeah, so I would say this is a very interesting uh, way of using VR and HTC Vive Flow definitely create another categories for 
um, I would say for for VR, right? Okay, so that's the first news. And the second news is it's called the title is called the new map of the universe that's user travel through space and time. Okay, so in this news, this news is on learning English dot uh, Okay, so interesting, uh, uh, in interesting site. Okay, so in this news, it says that um, Swiss researchers said that they have completed the most detailed virtual reality map for universe that ever created. Okay, so um, this news is says that pretty much you wear the VR headset and you can travel to space and time uh, through this uh, this app and um, the. Hello, Petrula, do you want to rest your hand so I can add you? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so pretty much this, the entire, I, I would say like um, the Swiss, the Swiss, let me see, Swiss Federal Institution of Technology in Louisiana, EPFL, pretty much this organization map out all the high quality, of the space. Uh, so pretty much you can wear this, um, you know, you can wear VR and enjoy the entire universe. When I see it, I find out this is a very, very amazing, um, I would say extremely amazing, exciting time because sometimes when we want to, you know, like I remember when I was uh, in elementary school, and when I study the universe, it's all the pictures on the textbook, right? It's hard to imagine like how small we are um, versus the universe, right? And then the sun, how big the sun is, right? How hot the sun is, how far away we are from Mars, right? Because if we want to go to Mars, it takes a super high-end rocket and need to travel six, around six months to go to Mars one way. So you see how long it is. We haven't, I, I haven't taken any airplane, travel somewhere and it takes six months, right? So a lot of stuff that really challenging us that what's, what's the future, right? And especially right now we have space rest, right? So I would say the space travel will be in the near future. So this is a really good, like um, I would say educational, um, kind of like a VR experience for people to start, um, you know, start to feel like universe in an immersive way. So I, I personally really think this is, we, we should do this more and for people to, you know, to see uh, something outside of our earth and see the different possibilities. Maybe we can terraforming the Mars, you know, kind of like migrating people to Mars. But I mean, right now it's just kind of like we are starting to do that and we are starting to do the space exploration. So I would say that, yeah, that th that is definitely another possibilities for human to leave kind of evergreen <laughs> or to occupy or to live longer in this universe. Yeah, so anyone has any thoughts for this? Oh, yes, I, I find it really interesting. And it, it's amazing to see such technology because like, as you pointed out that uh, it's, I mean, uh, thinking that's... of um, when I used to go to like the Academy of Sciences when I was quite young, um, they had the planetarium where you could sit in this big dome and experience, you know, traveling through, um, on Earth or through space. And so, I mean, I don't have... Um, yeah, just in terms of thoughts, uh, I just thought th th this is just so, so cool. And this is something that I would like to experience. Um, and also it would be in the future they can incorporate other like multi-sensory type of experiences in terms of what you're saying about like heat or just, you know, um, I don't know. It, yeah, something where you could be kind of completely fully immersed in it in addition to um, the visual sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, 
Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, Kamalika, do you have any thoughts you want to share? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying that it's really amazing to see such technology because, like, we will be able to learn a lot about universe. And for the people who cannot afford to travel to space right now, it is a great opportunity for all those people. And also, just imagine we we are looking back. We can also use it to look back at Earth and learn so so much about our own planet and I think it will help a lot in a way to look back at our planet and see what climate change is doing to the planet and how how the change can be seen from another perspective like right now we are in the situation but once we try to step out we will be able to look at the bigger picture which I think will have a great impact yeah yeah definitely definitely yeah so let's uh yeah so for me i that this is a very good um um uh experience for people to to have especially prior the space rest or you know during this time that everyone is trying to like right now only billionaires right we have a lot of billionaires they just you know, travel to the space and start enjoy like the the giant view of the world. Yeah. So right now, you see, like if we can do that by spending less than a thousand, probably around a thousand dollars, right? We can kind of um, experience a really big versions or visions of the entire universe, and we can feel more and see more, and we. We, we can, we can, you know, like experience uh, kind of like not as exciting version as the, you know, as you spend $1 million ticket to, to, to travel to the orbit, right? But we can, you know, definitely enjoy the um, kind of like the VR version of the world. Yeah. So I think this is very meaningful. Yeah. Okay. So let's jump to the third news. The third news is on next golf.com and the title is called virtual reality enabled suicide prevention training takes air force staff out of their comfort zone okay this is a very interesting news and written by brandy Vinson. um so pretty much uh when i read the news i saw realized that actually the suicide is in a really high rate in american military yeah, I, I was like, wow, this is blowing my mind. Suicide is considered among the leading causes of death for U.S. military members. A new analysis released Thursday suggests the number of those in the military who died in manner increased by 15% last year. Last week, three soldiers died by apparent su suicides on one New York Army base within 48 hours of one another. Yeah, it's, it's surprising that I thought it should be accident, right? The, the, death, the cause of death. But suicide is one of the main causing death in American military. That is very, very, you know, so, yeah, I was a little shocked. So uh, how can they prevent all those, you know, suicide prevention? So uh, they pretty much put the Air Force uh, soldiers inside uh, VR headset. So for them to, you know, because in VR, pretty much you can experience something really dangerous, but without physically in a very dangerous situation. So it's really good for military training, right? In today's news, I didn't mention that one, but uh, Microsoft signed $22 billion with American military to create a tailored software to train uh, the military, the soldiers in America. So um, you see like pretty much, um, and I read another news in the past, it seems like one of the general in American military, American force, uh, military force, wants their soldiers to watch or to play 21 video military games before they go to actual battlefield, right? So this is definitely help them to get dangerous training 
you know, in a in virtual reality, once they get all the trainings and all the knowledge they learn from the um, simulation inside VR games, they can, you know, fully use that to the real battlefield. So this is definitely a really good way. And also in this news, it talks about this can help to, you know, to prevent because, you know, by putting uh, the computer generate environment with simulation scenes and objects that appear, appear to be real, the military and multiple government, they want to invest this technology and especially, for example, like they put the soldiers inside this uh, simulation and then start letting them choose which track they are going to take, right? And start kind of helping them to release the stress. Because sometimes, you know, soldiers, when they are in, uh, especially the Air Force, right, right? When they are in the sky, right? And maybe there's a way to kind of make them less stressful, right? Because when people are under a lot of stress, they tend to do something that is kind of, they just want to leave that stress, but maybe there's a way to solve the high pressure, high stress um, by, you know, by understanding more about their situation, right? So using VR, it's better to, you know, compare with, you know, just put the soldiers in the sky, right? Immediately, they use the simulation. So the soldiers start realize where they are, right? And start, you know, like the brain start more, become more clear, rational, so they can do the right judgment. So I think this is definitely a really good way for, you know, to prevent, um, you know, the, the suicide for, for American soldiers. So any thoughts for, or any comments for this, uh, this news? Yeah, feel free to unmute yourself and share your thoughts. Any, anyone? Yeah, feel free to unmute yourself. Cool, cool. Oh, oh yeah, feel free. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's really great the initiative that they are taking because it's very shocking. Even like I had no idea that suicide was such a main. Uh, like was responsible for, suicide was responsible for so many deaths because because it's pretty shocking to just imagine that and even uh, i recently attended a unity summit uh, 20 unity for humanity summit 2021 and in that uh, i i am sorry i don't remember the name but there was this there was the psychologist who was working with the us veterans uh, about the about their post traumatic disorders and the trauma they have gone through while they were on war and uh, it's it's working out well in that so like yeah i can kind of relate that to this yeah, yeah, definitely. For me, I was very shocked and I wish, you know, in the future, if we can uh, prevent um, a lot of suicide or mental problems through VR, that would be great because, you know, we, we all want something to, you know, work, right? And VR itself, I would say it's not good or bad. It's just how people use it. And since we invent such an immersive technology that can change, or I would say, um, um, you know, change our concept of the preceding, our preceding perception of the world. So why not we use it to make the world even better, right? So yeah, so I really like um, those positive news that we have today. And thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm, bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.